how to do some matrix operations, array operations in Excel. And um, now I'm saying this, um, uh, Excel wouldn't be my, my first choice for doing array operations. I'd probably try to use MATLAB, but let me go through it. Part of the reason is I sometimes find how ex what Excel does not to be what I would intuitively expect to happen. So we'll go through this. Maybe we'll see some of those things. Okay, matrix array operations. First thing I want to show you is how to define an array. Um, so here I want to define this array right here and then put a box around it. So it's, it's really simple. I just click on the first cell and I type whatever number I want there, maybe two. I hit return and type whatever I want here, uh, maybe negative one, negative one, return, and so on. So there is uh, my how I define it. I go through, do that for every cell in the array. Then I can select the whole thing, just like this, and I can define, give it a name. I'm going to give it the name A. And the way I give it the name A is by typing A right up in here. I've already typed A, so that's why A appears there. So uh, I, this whole thing is now called array A. Um, Simple, no problem. How do I put the box around here? Well, I select them all, I click on the two, shift click on the one, and then I select this right in here, and that draws the box around. Uh, two is just a constant right now. It's not part of the array. I'll come back to that later. Now I define array B. Array B here, uh, again, I set it up the same way. Uh, select the cell type of nine, hit return, then six, then one, and so on. And I name the array in exactly the same way. Here and here, just like that. Okay, now, uh, so there's A and B. Over here, I'm going to put array C minus. So what I do here, there are two ways I can, um, let's say, add or subtract arrays. One is I click on the cell here, and suppose I want this to be A minus B. Uh, so I go up here and put equals, then I click on the first cell in A, which is 2, and then put a minus in the first cell in B, which here is uh, 9, I'm sorry, first cell in A is B4, not 2, B4, so I, this is B4, and then I subtract B9, which is the first cell in B. So that's what I put right here, B4 minus B9, then I can just drag this all the way across, and puts in all the cells appropriately here. Let's see. Do I have 2 minus 7 is negative 5? Yes. Then I can drag this down just like that, and I have all those cells. The only problem here is that I screwed up my formatting. So I'm going to fix that. Click here and here. Go into Edit, um, and I'll clear formats there. Now I can put a new box around there, right here, and now I want to change the font size back up to font size 14. It's been, it was changed down to 12 when I cleared the formatting. So I put 14 there. So there I have array A minus B. Let's check the bottom one. Minus A. Should be 1 minus 9 minus 8. That works. Another way of uh, subtracting arrays. Uh, suppose I want to put B minus A right in here. So I click on here and here. Again, just like this, the whole set of cells. And then up here, let me just type it in. Up here, I'm going to put equals, and I'm going to put B minus A, just like that. Now, if I hit return or enter here, it'll give me lip. It, it doesn't like that. Whenever I want to enter in a whole array set of values, again, I have to hit control shift return and I do that so this should then be B minus A let's see 9 minus 2 is 7 9 and then down here 9 minus 1 is 8 so that looks right and then I want to call this array Y which I've already named I will go up here and then just type Y return and that names this whole array as array, array, array Y now suppose I want to do matrix multiplication A times B, and call the answer uh, E. Now, here's uh, 
one. Uh, here's uh, uh, something that Excel does that uh, may not be intuitive. Um, if I want to multiply two arrays, I have to use the mmult function. And then I give it the cells of the first array, which goes from b4 to d6. This is uh, a times b, b4 to d6, uh, and then a comma, and then b9 colon d11. If I do what I might be tempted to do, let's suppose right in here I select a there, and instead here I'll put equals a times a times b. So suppose up here I go equals a times b, and now I hit um, control shift return like that. What it does is it does 2 times 9, 18 in the first cell, 3 times 2, 6 in the second cell, 2 times 7, 14. So it multiplies the arrays cell by cell, which is not normally what you want to do when you do a matrix multiply. Okay, remember matrix multiply, we do uh, we do the elements of the first row times the first column and put the answer here. Elements of the second row times the first column, put the answer here, and so on, adding them up. So, uh, uh, so for example, a times b would be uh, two times nine. Um, two times nine is eighteen. Plus three times uh, six is eighteen. That's thirty-six. Plus two times one is two. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight is what goes there. Okay. So we have to use the matrix multiply operation. And again, you, when you write this out, remember to hit Control Shift Enter when you enter it. Here I do B times A exactly the same way. Now, you may remember that with matrices, A times B doesn't necessarily equal B times A. And in this case, they certainly don't. Uh, that only happens uh, when we, we say the matrices compute, uh, commute if a times b equals b times a. Here I've done e minus f. Now I do the difference of two matrices. I can put up here just e minus f, just like that. And that works fine because the difference of two matrices is a cell by cell operation. So uh, I would take this cell and subtract a minus 5. 38 minus a negative 5 is 43. 25 minus 36 is minus 11, and so on. Now here, I'm just going to take negative 2 times A, matrix A. So that's where I'm going to use, I have this negative 2. So what I'm doing right here is I'm taking cell A7, which is negative 2, multiplying it by A, then I hit Control shift enter and then that does the scalar multiplication of all the elements in A and puts it in H. There's a transpose operation in Excel, so I can do the transpose of A. Remember, the transpose operation of a matrix just exchanges the rows and columns, and that the first row becomes the first column, the second row becomes the second column, and so on. I can do the inverse operation here, again using M inverse. And notice here, by the way, that transpose is just transpose. It's not M transpose. It's because there's no transpose operation for scalars, whereas the, there is an inverse operation for scalars, so they make sure to call it M inverse. So this is finding the inverse matrix of matrix A. So this is the inverse matrix for this matrix. And we can check it, because a matrix times its inverse should be the identity matrix. So I did a matrix multiply here. Notice say have M multiply again of matrix A, this matrix right here, times this matrix right here, and what I get is this matrix. The identity matrix should have ones on the diagonal. We're okay there. And then I have something times 10 to the minus 16, times 10 to the minus 17. So this is uh, uh, 
this is all for all practical purposes, these numbers are zero. So I have ones on the diagonal with zeros everywhere else. And then finally, um, using a uh, matrix inverse, we can solve uh, systems of linear equations. So here I have a system of three linear equations. And what I do is I then write all the coefficients down. So coefficient of x is 1, y is 1, z is 1, and it equals 1 there. Negative 1, 2, negative 1, 0 there. 2 down here, negative 3 down here, 2, um, uh, this should be, this should be 2 right here, uh, right here, not 4, so let me fix that, 2 there, um, now 1, 0, 4. So what I want to do now is I want this, so this now is a matrix I call AX, let's see, Let's see if it's called AX matrix AX, which I call matrix AX, I call this, which is just a column vector, but it's still a matrix, simple matrix, I call it CX. So to find the solutions now, what I want to do is A inverse times this. Okay, so now, so I want to do, um, now let me just take these out because I change things that's not going to be right. So I want to do A inverse times CX. So is that what I want to put on in here? Let's look at this. What is this inverse? So I want to do the inverse of this matrix. So how did I do the inverse matrix? I used, um, let me come back up here. right here, I use equals M inverse A. So I have this matrix right in here. Okay, so I can select the whole thing here. And that's AX. So let me just type it right here and show you. I'm going to do M inverse A. And so this equals M inverse now, it's going to be this matrix right here that I put in there, here to here. So that's matrix AX, M inverse of matrix AX. Now I do Control, Shift, Return, and, uh, oh, you know what I did wrong? I should have selected all these cells right here, this cell to this cell. Now, I should do Control, Shift, Return. And it just gave me lip here. Oh, I know why. I know why, people. This matrix does not have an inverse because I have two columns which are identical. One, negative one, two, one, negative one, two. One, negative one, two, one, negative one, two. So this set of equations does not have a solution. Isn't that, look at that. So what I want to do here is change this, change it back to what I had, which I think was a 4, 4 there. Now I want to put a 4 here, 4 there. Now I hit return. Now it gives me the inverse of that matrix. So this is the inverse. This should be the inverse of this matrix, let's see. There, M inverse of AX, that's what that is. So I want to do M inverse of AX, and I want to multiply it by matrix CX. So I want to do a matrix multiply of this times that. So let's put that in here, right here. So I have matrix multiply. So this is going to equal M M matrix small, this one, of this matrix times, I put a comma, this matrix there, hit return, and I forgot to hit what? 
I forgot to do control shift return there and there's the solution okay so um, that's my video on doing matrix operations in Excel um, and uh, you saw a couple interesting things some of them not intended uh, and so next time